Sweet, I found it. Bonus. Hey folks, how are you? Joe here, I'm by myself, I'm in the woods. We found our shelter, we found the spot we we're gonna build the shelter at. I got my backpack here, wool blanket for warmth. It's a little bit colder than I thought it was going to be today. So, or that it had called for. So I've got my wool blanket shirt on, my Boreal shirt. We're gonna spend the day out here, build up a shelter, cook some food and camp. This is a better spot for that, not in the, in the snow. The old Wildland Scout Pack. This is what I'm looking for here. Good rope. Snowed a bit since last time. Okay, so I want to make my ridge pull right now. I want to make it the right height. So if I'm sitting here, I don't want to have to bend at all if I'm using my edge of my bed for a seat. So right about there, I'll be all right. Okay, so what we're going to do to get the ridge pull at the right spot, we're going to try to prop it. First off, <coughs> excuse me. So we have this here and here. That's plenty high. Yeah. This all natural waxed smoked hemp rope, bushcraft Spain style. We can use this to tie it up. That way it's all natural. that's level but we can make it level actually holy smokes boys and girls <laughs> that's a first I can't even do this if I tried I certainly couldn't do it if I tried it looks pretty freaking level to me like the right might be a touch low but who's counting that looks good to me I'm totally cool with that we're gonna go underneath <laughs> Almost lost her. Almost lost her, folks. Whoa! Okay. Okay. That should have been bad. So what I'm doing is I'm lashing, I'm crossing them underneath and over top, crossing them again, pull this up, pull this over, I'm gonna lash them together like this. I'm gonna do some fraps underneath, probably just one. I'm gonna tie all that together, maybe another one. Yeah, boy. All right. That makes me happy. Okay, we'll see how that holds when we do the other one and remove the uh, supports. I think it's good. It's solid. It's the most level it's been. It's got plenty of room for me to sit up without ducking. All right, the next thing that I have to do is figure out the back. I have to either build up or put big, long, thick logs in the back to rest the roof on so I get the correct angle. Remember from the other video, I came out to this clearing and got the big logs for the bottom to start the bed. This is that same clearing. I found this down poplar here, obviously dead, laying down. So I'm gonna spend my time cutting it up um, if I get two or three of these and I can stack them, then that probably will be sufficient for the back. This is 
six to eight inches in diameter here, probably eight down there, four up there. But all right, let's, let's get to it. <laughs> so we need roughly here for one. Well, I carried this for a while. It's, it's soaking wet, like it's it's not dry like the other ones were, punky, it's soaked. So um, I'm gonna try, I went back, stripped off some layers, I got the rest of this rope. I'm gonna try and tug it back, do a little tug, and see if I can't do it easier that way. Well, let's see how this goes. I got the heavier end on my side. I'm not sure if that's the way to do it or not. Probably not, actually. But that's how she goes. Well, it's not, not very easy. She's just plowing. There we go. The hat back on, it's actually cold. All right, well, that was some work to get that over here, but well worth it. I think better than carrying it, and it's a good size. So everything's coming up for in the woods. All right, I just cut another one, big one. I got my, I'm walking my rope here. It was quite the pain in the butt trying to untie it from the other one. So I'm gonna try a different knot on this one, but got another really decent size piece of wood. Switched up a couple of things and this time it looks better. Okay, almost perfect size too. So I put the lighter end towards me. That way it wasn't plowing. I wasn't trying to pick up the heavy end. The heavy end was being dragged. Makes sense, right? And I kind of knew that the first time. And I switched up my knot so it would be easier to get undone. Actually, even I, I cut the first one. I couldn't get it undone, so let's see if I could get this knot undone now. So with my limited knot knowledge, you know, I tie three, basically. I can't really figure it out with this hemp rope, but let's see, I tied this quick release overhand. Yep, sweet, no problems. Whereas this one, big problems. This one over here. Anyways, let's get these stacked up and see how it measures up. I'm excited to see the progress. It looks like the second one I got, is bigger around than the first one, so I'm gonna to try to put that one on the bottom. build a back wall like a tri couple of tripods or something for this to lean onto unless I can pound into the ground which I don't think I can ah yeah this top one's heavy man maybe I'll have to go the other way around but the other one's bigger This one is soaked. So 
something. Okay, something under this side, just prop it up still. Not as high as I would like, but let's see how it looks. All right, this is pretty solid, this back, but it's not high enough. I figured out what I'm going to do though. I've already pre-cut this log, this stick, as a measurer. I, I've kind of figured it out already. So I want to have about an overhang of a foot past the, the, the ridge pole as an overhang, right? And I, So that means I want it to be about there and it's going to be that angle. So it has to come up another big log or two. But instead of going to do that right now, I can do that later if I feel I need to. So I'm gonna build two or three big tri sturdy but short tripods. One here, one on the end, possibly one in the middle. I'm gonna lay a ridge pole back here, and then these are all gonna get lined up on that. And then there's gonna be a gap here, but who knows, if it's, if it's overhanging, it doesn't matter if there's a gap, it'll be good for airflow, or I, after it's all said and done, I can go get more big logs and put it there. But it's not the end of the world if I don't, so I'd rather start on this first. So now what I'm going to do is take my, take a bunch of time and cut up all the pieces of wood I've already collected into this size and then go around the forest and collect more dead logs that I can get up on here and try to get this done uh, relatively quickly right now, this part of it, because I still have to make my bed, uh, which is gonna, not, not that big a deal, and collect firewood and cook, I'm hungry. It's lunchtime at least, I came out here early I'm hungry, so I have a sandwich already made. I'm gonna cook up or boil up some water and have a tea with it, warm myself up, but then I have a, I have a duck breast for dinner, so I'm excited about that. So, uh, yeah, wood cutting time. Cutting wood, cutting wood, cutting wood, cutting wood. She not a lumberjack for me, she turns lumberjack. Wood cutting wood, cutting wood. I got like, about six to eight pieces done. So I'm gonna uh, stop doing that for a minute and build myself some sturdy tripods. I'm gonna start by attaching it to one, just with an overhand knot. And then we'll wrap and frap a little bit. They wanna be sturdy, but again, I wanna save some rope. already feeling pretty secure. Sorry about the snifflings. Some people don't like that. Okay, two wraps, two fraps, and then I'm gonna wrap it again and call it good, I think. And there's a lot of knobs, nodules that's getting caught on. So it's gonna go right against this. So I'm gonna put two there and the biggest, fattest one out here. And then the ridge pole can go across here and this and the next log is gonna be supported by this. I'm gonna try and put this in the ground as much as possible. sturdy. Okay, it's gonna lay across like that. Let's get the other one built. Actually, I want that in there. I want to make it the same height as these, as the other one, sorry.
That's pretty straight, man. That's pretty straight. This side goes down a bit, but it could be because of the length and size of the log on that side. Let's see. Yeah, that's better. Okay, cool, man. Pretty cool. It's coming along. Now you can see, obviously, I'll put, be able to put another log here, and it's going to be blocked by the tripods. And if I put, especially if I put a, a tripod in the middle, it'll be super secure on the angle. Heck yeah! And then these switch up, switch up the camera angle right quick for you. I'm excited, man. This is cool. I'm, I'm happy about this. This is going well. Okay, so then we have this resting on here. Might even need to put a secondary thing, but that's fine. And then I've got the overhang like I wanted. Freaking right, bud. Freaking right, spot. Let's see what I can do with this. This is just rough, obviously, because I haven't even cleaned up the, I didn't even, I didn't choose this as a ridge pole. I just put it up here to see. But let us see. Oh, toasty. There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to keep working on this. Let's see where she goes. Okay, some things have changed since you saw me last. I took a little break, I had my sandwich, and I did a bunch of upgrades that I'll have to show you. Woo! So I didn't like the way that there was a huge gap behind my bed and then where the tripod started. So what I did was I butted the bottom log almost all the way right up to this bed log, and then I moved the tripods. And then I put this, this top log up there and that's solid on there. So that top log here now acts as like a secondary backrest, backstop for inside. It's a lot taller, as you can see in the back, okay? Uh, sun's not at a good angle for that. But I need now, that's why I got this one. Cause like I was saying earlier, I need to fill it in a bunch in the back. So I got that, it's a decent size, it's dead. It wasn't too heavy, so I was able to carry it. Uh, we'll, we'll put that there. Probably gonna have to get another one even but again like i said before that's not such a big issue uh i'm fine with sleeping tonight without the full back and you know what i think i am going to just leave this here and keep coming back to it and adding on to it and having this as a spot to come and chill at make videos at come camp at whatever because it is all natural there's no paracord there's no tarp there's nothing uh, and i can i can improve it as we go so i think that is what i'm going to do but anyway so I moved it closer and because I moved it closer, I got le extra length from the logs. So there's a little bit more of an overhang. I can make it longer up there and shorter in the back if I want to, just by pushing these up. And I can secure these after too. This is what I mean by we'll come back and, and uh, improve on it as we go. That's kind of part of the fun. That was the part of the fun of the fort for sure. So that's the, the view from the side underneath. Pretty cool. I got a lot more logs now and I started on my bed. Um, I found a downed spruce and I collected some boughs. Not nearly enough, but I got them in there and you can see how it's gonna go. So I'm pleased with the progress. Everything's going really well. It is cold. Every time I start getting up a sweat, I strip down and then I can't leave it off for too long. Tumble tukes, tumble tukes. All right, but, uh, let's get this log into place.
Oh, it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time, boys and girls. Decent, pretty uniform. Oh yeah, not too shabby. There's some gaps for sure, and I knew that. It's just the uh, the logs up there. It's still got to be thatched or whatever, but that's not important for me right now. What is important is that the roof part is done, and I can focus my energy now on doing the bed. And then once my bed is complete. Actually, while I'm looking for material for the bed, I'll keep my eye open for some decent sized logs back there. Um, I got to make a fire soon. I've been waiting. I've been holding it off. I do want to have a tea, but all this is dead wood, right? And all this dead wood is from this immediate area. So I've deplete, I have not depleted my firewood supply, but I've made it a lot smaller. I've dwindled it quite a bit, a little on the dwindled side. So anyways, my point is I have to spend time getting firewood. And I didn't start my fire yet because I want to conserve as much as I can. I do have a big pile right here, but it's mostly twigs and dry stuff, uh, light stuff. Okay, on to trying to find more boughs for the bed. There is a downed spruce, and I'm going to go grab some from that ah, right now. But, like, it's comfy, man. It's, uh, it's big. You know, what I can do is kind of chill in here. Once this bed is made, I can even prop this bed up a little bit more. I have this backrest. My fire is going to be in front. I just chill like this. And again, it's plenty big for me. My backpack can go at the end or even up here to block the one of the windows. Like th th This isn't finished. Like If I want to make this like a legit camp, I have to come in and block the sides and block the back more and, and thatch it and stuff. But for now, like I keep saying, I'm pleasantly pleased for like a day and a half of work. When I came here the, the first time, I didn't really do much. I just collected it like you saw. If you haven't seen that video, feel free to check it out. I won't, uh, I won't hold it against you. All right. I want to check out just how much I have. I'm going to take them all out and line the bed with some sticks first just to give myself a little bit more buffer off of the snow. Because remember in the last video, it's like snow and ice under there and stuff. So I'm sure after laying, I left the sticks on the spruce. This is balsam fir mostly, this is that spruce. I left the big thick sticks on it for that purpose as well. And I have my uh, oil skin uh, wool blanket ground sheet that I'm gonna put on top as well. And then my wool blanket. And I got a wool blanket liner too, so should be decent. Random cedars in there, nothing too big. Just to go on the ground once again, give myself a buffer. Well, he sticks in here. that are poking up at me for the most part. Throw this down here. Just anything to get out a little buffer, a little Bruce buffer. Okay, and then obviously I'm gonna put the, the chunky, dense, least sticked um, spruce in first and then cover it up with the softer balsam fir that doesn't have these big stalks on them but I want to be pretty even with what I'm doing here. Especially if I'm leaving this here for a while. This bed will last a while. I can refresh it 
with some spruce boughs down the line. To say I am pleased as how, at how this is going would be an understatement. Uh, this is a sufficient amount of boughs and it is a good width of a bed for me. I have a crazy amount of loft and height and I made myself a pillow. So that's just the icing on the cake there. I'm done, that's all the boughs that I had. Let's just hop on and see, take our first spin, you know? Yep. Oh man. This is perfect. This is perfect. Super happy about this. Okay. I do really want to get another couple logs on here. I've collected a couple and I've collected some bark to put on top uh, as thatching. Um, so let's see how far I can get with that. But, and actually my wood collection has grown substantially too. So I'm, I'm in pretty decent shape. This is cool. Just chill back like this. Have my fire in front. Ideally, I'm gonna make a fire reflector, but it'll probably just be some logs leaned up because I don't can't pound it into the ground. I don't really have much time left. But I'm chilling like a villain, man. After this is all waterproofed, this will be sick. Ideally, I could have it down here, stack another and stack another there, but. <laughs> It's a lot of work getting these logs, believe it or not. It doesn't just happen. All right. So that is slick. Uh, I might be able to chink in the notches there in the summertime with some mud and moss and stuff. We make it even better. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with the length too. So wow, this is coming together. Very cool. Obviously there's a ton of gaps and then there's even another big gap at the top, another log could go there. But totally good. Nothing's gonna come in that way snow wise. It's too cold to rain. So uh yeah, all all is well. I might push it down, cut the end off for some more firewood, but let's check out my firewood stash. So I collected a bunch of birch bark here off a dead birch tree, some pretty decent size uh, slabs. All right. And then I've got a ton here of spruce bark. And I've started to put a bunch on already. You can see here. And that's going to help quite a bit. Bark is a really, really good uh, water resistant -er. <laughs> I wouldn't say waterproofer, but anyways, I got some aspen bark on here too. It didn't come off the easiest, but I'm going to spend some time and thatch this up a bit. Okay, well, there's some done anyway. I didn't expect to get anything done. And that's about, I don't know, maybe a quarter sloppily done. Not too bad. S sloppily. But the birch bark ended up screwing it up more than anything. It's got like some loft to it. All good. Anyways, this will have to have a few coats of this on it. Not just one anyway, but there's plenty around. No shortage of it, that's for sure. That looks cool. There's a hump of snow here from when I cleared out where the bed was going to be. I didn't throw it far enough, uh, so I got to kind of get rid of it. Or else I'm going to, when I have my fire on top of it, uh, it's just going to smolder. Like the, the side, the center will burn down, the sides will get hung up, the logs will get hung up on the sides, and it'll smolder. That's speaking from experience. So I'm going to try and negate that a bit as much as possible. Shelter. I guess we're gonna have to come up with a name for this. 
I'll just call it the natural shelter. Holy. Some good wood in there, surprisingly. I'm a loose cannon, I'm a loose cannon. Oh, oh, oh. This is what I do to campers. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll be part of the backstop for the fire. El Presidor, check him out, El Presidor on YouTube. Old school, I know, old news. Nice and seasoned. If you watch the first video, you'll know I said I needed to build a big base on the ground when I build my fire because the snow and the ice again, and I, I don't want it to just burn, uh, burn down. There we go. Oh, nice big piece of bark too for the shelter. Anyways, I'm a little distracted there. I need to build my fire up off the ground. So I think what I'm gonna do is use these big pieces of spruce as the platform, like build right up on top of here. So let's measure it out. We got, I'm in here, one step. That's probably enough. Sink it into the ground a touch there. I'll put maybe put some stakes in front of it. So that'll go there. This will go behind it, same level. Have to clean it up a bit. There's some pokies that are impeding the necessary fitment. All right. So that's about body length for me. One step away. I'll just have to build a fire right up on top of these guys. I'll put, this is a backdrop a bit, but it'll burn for sure. I can get that up on a couple more things on top of it might help. There's some stuff on the ground that I can just kind of pile back behind. But anyways, for the most part, I think that's how we're gonna make the fire on top of those guys. So this is what I've come up with so far. It's not so bad. A little bit of a back on it. That's it in relation to the shelter. We've done our extensive firewood prep. We've got a decent amount of wood there, guys. Like, seriously. So, that much crumbling there. And there's more to take down. But I'm hungry. i got to get some uh, food into me. i got to get a fire going. But check this out. thought that this was kind of cool until I need to wear it at least. Like there's that big opening, right? And of course I can fill it in. I will fill it in later on, but check this out. My Boreal shirt kind of fills it in pretty good right there. At least for any kind of little bit of wind protection that I'll need. Like I might even, I might have to wear this tonight because like I said, oh, I'll piss. Anyways, my backpack can go there too. It's just an option. I'm gonna put that there now because it looks cool. Because it looks cool. Look at that, waterproof and everything. This is plenty of time to start the fire. It has been.
Much better this time. Sharper spine, getting back in the groove, better uh, birch bark selection. Everything adds up. Everything adds up. And look, the wind is blowing the opposite way, but it's still not blowing into my shelter. So remember last time I said I had to come this way, it's blowing this way, but it would have been uh, at my back and it would have swirled if I had it set up the, the original way I was going to do it. So all is well in the world of the natural shelter. Man, this is sweet. This is really, really chill. I haven't even put it, my bedding in here or anything yet. This is really chill. I can feel the warmth. If I put like a space blanket here, which I'm not going to do, but if I did, eh, I might. Who knows? I have one with me. I won't leave it here though. But if I put one here, I'll trap all the, the heat like you've seen, seen me do before. I won't leave it here if I do, I promise. It's going to be a natural shelter. Just give me a little bit of heat though. A little bit of heat. It's almost six. Um, I need some coals to cook. Uh, maybe we'll prepare my food. Super chill, man. Whenever the wind comes up, it just kicks off to the right there. Never in towards me. No smoke at all. It's all going that way. Turning into a proper long fire already. My Italian wool blanket, trusty old faithful. My headlamp, which I will put up here so I know where it is. Uh, my zebra pot, my food's in there. Got my what I want to turn into a pillow. That fire is burning wonderfully. So I'm actually gonna double this up. Give myself a little bit more uh, buffer from the ground, from the everything. And it only needs to be half width because that's just how wide the bed is. It has, sometimes there's advantages of being small. Not all the time, I don't like it. Believe me, I'd much rather be a Jim Baird size man, a real man, you know, but sometimes, there are advantages. Okay, so that's that. Pillow. Let's get tied up. Goes there. Blanket comes out. This is gonna be doubled up as well. Yes, we'll put it the open spot towards the fire. Easier to get in and it'll be warmer that way, I believe. Yes, man. Not too shabby. My back feels like it's burning. Okay. I am pleasantly surprised with that. And this little doohickey can go right in the middle. Smack dab in the middle. So, that's looking to be pretty comfy to me. A couple little sparks in here. I think it's wool. Oh, oh, oh! No way! Okay, I'm officially comfortable. You guys gotta see this fire, man.
we've got ourselves some duck breast. So we're going to do some duck breast in foil on the coals. It's already smoked. Smoked duck breast from Paisano's in Sault Ste. Marie. Now the reason that I am doing it in tin foil, not just over the fire, is because it's already smoked and I really don't want it to dry out. So this is the way that they recommended me do it while I'm camping. Looks good, eh? There it is. One more double bag that ish. Oh, bam. All right, well, this look this is looking pretty good for cooking now. Um, you just kind of put it in the middle. Fire off the side a bit. Nice. My plane flying overhead and everything. I think it's done. I don't think I have to cook it anyways from the research I did. And what they told me, it said it's already smoked, it's already good to go, I just need to kind of heat it up. So let's give it one more second and we'll take it off. This fire is going swimmingly. All right, let's see how this duck looks. Duck wing duck, when there's trouble you call DW. Duck wing duck. So there used to be this kids show, right? <laughs> I remember I wanted the Darkwing dark Duck, uh, his little action shooter he had. I wanted that so bad. Darkwing Duck! Spoily, as ducks are, greasy. Oh, and they said also, it tends to flame up quite a bit if you cook it on the open fire because of how fatty it is. It doesn't look cooked at all. That part does, let's see. Dude, this is phenomenal. I'm not going to eat the fat actually because I don't want it and there's enough meat here. But look at that. This is more flavorful than a steak. Oh man. Why do people eat chicken? Why don't we eat duck? Like seriously, why? Is it not as readily available? Man. This is so good. It's not like a it's like a, a meaty meat, but it's like a like a ham. Almost like a ham and a steak mix. I've had duck before. Maybe it's just because this is smoked, I don't know. This is mouth-watering. Mmm. Oh my goodness! Let me show you, man. Let me show you. Oh, this is so freaking good. Oh, man. Like, I've had this on, like, smoked duck on a charcuterie board and stuff, but... I don't know. This is hitting, hitting different somehow. Maybe it's because we're outside, but. See, it's like a hammy flesh. Hey! Duck is okay. Well, that was so good. And I think it's pretty, pretty good for me, actually, compared to like pork or whatever. So that's going to become a staple. That was so good. I can't. Oh, I can't wait to show people that. Um, very, 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 very good. I'm gonna throw a piece of fat in the fire and see what happens. Let's catch it. Pot right on fire. Spectacular pork cracklings, just like pork cracklings. Just chilling, man. Very comfy. Got that duck into me. 
and uh, I'm relaxing, man. I can feel the warmth from the fire quite a bit right there. And I'm waiting on my water to boil so I can make up some tea. I ended up putting my backpack on that side because the wind, the predominant wind is coming from that way. And I'm wearing my boreal shirt now because it got chilly. So I might, after, um, after I have my tea, or while my tea is cooling, I might look for some stuff, like maybe some brush or like some lo thick logs to put there just to just to block it for now until I figure out a permanent solution for it. But got a nice overhang. Nice overhang. Like I'm I'm here. The ridge pole is past me, and then I have overhang past the ridge pole. So I like the setup. This is good. Feeling soothed, peppermint, ginger, and fennel herbal tea. Fennel. My favorite of all the root dealios. Is it root? I don't even know. I don't even know what it is. See, this is what I meant earlier when I said I had to make a long fire and build it up. Because if you just make a normal fire, the snow in the middle, if it's not a long fire, and even even now, because it's not burning the full length of the the logs, it's 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 digging itself in the middle more so, and then the logs are propped up, and then there's just smoke coming like crazy from underneath. It's not so bad. Like this this fire was still it's very sustained. This is not going out by any means. Um, I can even stomp around after a little while, uh, just on the edge there. See, I already did a little bit there, but on the edge I can stomp around and make it. Cause there it is a hole under there. I can make that flush. And then once that's all flush, it's better. But that end is a little, uh, because the wind is coming from that side and it's pushing the fire this way, that side is a little more uh, built up still, but no big deal. But again, that's the reason why I had to build it on such a platform. Well, now that I have busted my butt, it's time to relax. And I sure am glad for the extra time in the day we have now because it would have been dark by now, just a couple months ago. Oh, it feels good. It feels good. The fruits of my labor. Reap the fruits, folks. You know, you gotta reap the fruits. It's a big part of life. Reap them fruits. Oh. Reap them. Well, that's pretty intense. Just been chilling out here uh, by the fire, listening to a book on tape, the Going Home series. I was actually with the author of that series on season one of Alone, which is strange, but I, uh, I just started it now. Anyways, it's a good series. Just been chilling out, drank my tea, and check what happened Ugh, to the fire. So like I said, uh, Everything melted in. It's not bad. It's fine now. It's, it's long enough like a big trench. It's okay. You just got to uh, get some more firewood now. It's nearly dark. And 
this is not gonna last me now. That burned up pretty quick. I still have, don't get me wrong, like got all this. This big one. This. There's plenty around. And all all of this. But I'm gonna get some more before it's dark. Happy to see the smoke is still going parallel to my shelter, which is ideal. Alright, I'm going to muster up a touch more energy. Try to block off this a little bit more securely. Okay, that's it. It's propped up with a stick, and it's much better than it was. Every single piece of wood I used for this uh, shelter is is and was dead. Um, the only thing was the boughs. I found a dead spruce and I collected as much boughs off that as I could, and then I went around and I picked off low-hanging balsam fir and spruce boughs off of trees, and only a few off of each. So pretty. Pretty good on that one, I feel. chili just waiting for my water to boil I want to boil it because I want to boil that snow because it's got all sorts of crap in it sitting on the ground for a long time so I'm gonna boil it up and try and filter some of the leaf litter over there but uh, yeah I collected quite a bit of wood feel pretty good about it this fire is nice and warm now I'm sitting by it Oh yeah, she's, I'd say that's boiling. Look at Okay, I got just over half a liter. And yeah, all the dank is for the most part still in the, in the pot, so happy about that. Oh yeah, clean, clean as the dickens. I just stoked up the fire and uh, I'm ready for bed here. So take off my boots. I'm going to leave um, down here at the end. Leave everything else on except for my boat. I'm go by my head here. Oh man, my feet are steaming. Oh, I don't have too much room left over in the backpack. I didn't pack any extra clothes at all, other than one extra puppy. Could have grabbed some socks, but it's all right. Pretty, been a pretty cool trip pretty cool overnight I'm glad that I have this little camp here now come back here a few more times I got lots of lots of plans for this year canoe tripping and doing something similar to my 10 day survival thing I'll do like a seven day solo out of a backpack I believe this 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 spring try and hit it before the bugs 
and then I'll go and do a real canoe trip or whatever. But yeah, I'm excited for that type of stuff. I hope you guys will be into that. Oof, is it toasty now? All right. So the real problem, the real issue, may be trying to get into my uh, innard here. My freaking little mummy bag. There we go. Yeah, that can trap my body heat. Around this big wool blanket. This, this shirt is made of a wool blanket, so I've got with this, this, and my ground sheet, three pieces of wool. Not too shabby. I'm gonna sneeze at, you know. And I'm down jacket on, and one in my pillow to put on in case I need it. Or maybe slide it over my feet like I do used to do, like a little like uh, tie the arms around each other in a knot and slide my make it a tube and slide it over my feet like a sock, like a big warm sock, and that'll give me a lot of extra warmth. And actually, I can also even um, boil water and put it in my nails. You can put it down by my feet, which I might end up doing. But we're gonna just lay here for a bit, see how she goes, because I feel very toasty there's lots of reflective heat coming off that fire so anyways i'm gonna lay down relax for a bit see if i pass out i have to get up and show off the cameras so that's always fun but until then good night oh yeah this is this is ideal this is a sweet little setup and you could do this with a tarp. You wouldn't have to like build a, a top shelter like this. You could just do everything on the bottom the same with it, and then use a tarp on the top. Be very, very comfortable. You can even drape the tarp down in the back too to create the back wall. Oh, I want to lay and dream of shelter capability, shelter possibilities. <laughs> All right. Good night for real. Just woke up to uh, stoke the fire. It's two thirty in the morning. Check it out. It's all but out. Huge pile of ash. There's a bunch of embers in there, but no substantial wood at all. So. Grab from my pile. Stoke this thing up again. So we're gonna hold up the pee. A little chilled. Just add more wood. I'm not getting out of bed this time. I'm just gonna throw as much as I can on from here. Alright, she's going good again. Back to bed. slept pretty good. I got up quite a few times to stoke the fire. As you can see, there's nothing left. No fuel. And all this is just real dry kindling. So, oh, wasn't too bad. Could have been better. I've had worse. Um, my feet got kind of cold. I didn't end up doing the water bottle thing, but I put my boots on and I slept with my boots uh, in the thing. So I got a little bit damp, a little sweaty, but anyways, then it then it chilled down. But anyways, it's all good. Uh, it's um, seven o'clock now. 
I got up probably about 5.30, I woke up again for the last time, laid there for a while and then threw this on and, uh, and got up, got out of bed. amazing how much warmth a decent sized fire can kick off right away. I was quite cold this morning when I first got up, even laying in bed, and I am just warm to the bone right now. So it's pretty awesome. I just keep gathering as much little twigs as I can off the ground, throwing them in, it's all good. Alright, this one's for you, Emerald. This one's for you, Emerald. Okay, you ready? She made me promise I'd do this make a little ice bowl and eat my cereal out of it. <laughs> I said, I'm not bringing milk, it'll freeze. She said, just eat it dry. I said, all right. Well, I chew you. We're looking at you, pig. <laughs> well, folks, that's probably it for me. I'm just going to let this burn down, eat my cereal out of my ice bowl, and, uh, Wait for my water to cool too. Now I'm gonna pack up and get out of here. I had a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Certainly a cool spot. Certainly like to come back here, do some other stuff, maybe some improvements, do the sides, thatch the thatch the the roof with some more bark. Cool spot to come to. It's always fun having little projects to do, you know. Anyway, take care, guys. Until next week, I'll see you again. Be nice. Be nice to someone. Do something nice for someone today. Go out of your way to do something nice for one person today. You can all do that. Goodbye. Look at the size of the fire pit though, eh? The size of the trench, it, it melted away. Quite big in relation. Well, my bed compressed quite a bit for me laying on it. I sleep on it again, it'll have to be built up again, but. Still some loft there, you can tell that's where my hips were. Anyways, all right, goodbye.